To answer the question that I raised in the title, hell yes. These notebooks have been the best school supply purchase that I have made so far and I will never turn back to regular notebooks. Since I made my first initial video about these notebooks, I have only had to buy one additional new notebook binder for a new class. I have nothing but good things to say about these notebooks and in today's video I will once again cover some frequently asked questions that I get about the Kokyo Campus notebook binders. So to start, I want to I encourage you guys to make sure that you order your notebooks from a reputable site like JetPens or Amazon. I personally would say that JetPens is the better site for these notebooks than Amazon. It's where I get all my school supplies from and they have the cutest stationery in my opinion. For instance, I get a lot of cats themed stuff from there such as my new pencil case, which I definitely did not need a new pencil case this year, but once I saw it, I decided to get it because look at it. Anyways, back to what we were talking about. You will still need to get new paper for your notebooks every year and the paper is on the expensive side for about $10 for 100 sheets. But there are a lot of different variations, lined, dotted, graphed, etc. And the paper is good quality. It can make even cheap pens feel like a luxury writing experience because it makes any writing utensil just glide on top of it. The paper is also very bleed slash ghost resistant and most of my school supplies do not bleed or ghost through at all. If they do, it's very minuscule and not noticeable at all, unlike some other types of paper. And after using both the lined and the the graph version of the paper since I made my last video. I can confidently say that the line paper is better for most normal subjects aka English, history, science classes, but for math the graph paper is the best. I've been using the graph paper in my calculus class and it has been excellent for just being able to do graphs really quickly and it just kind of separates my math notebook from my other notebooks as well. The graph paper has come extremely handy for my calculus class and I cannot recommend it enough. The size is also a confusing thing for most of us as we're not used to the B4, A5, C3, whatever, you know, as most of us are used to either college rules or wide rules. But with Kokyo, they have the notebook binders in both a B5 and a A4 size, I believe. But I will put on the screen a chart that should hopefully make this process a little bit easier to understand. So to start all of my notebook binders are in this B5 size, which is slightly smaller than your average printer paper, which is 8.5 by 11 inches. Do with that information what you will. On the college and wild room note, I also got some questions about the ruling of the paper. So the lines and dots in the Kokyo Campus Sarasara paper, which is the paper that comes with the journal, the lines and dots are six millimeters apart. And in college ruled, the lines are about 7.1 millimeters apart. And in wide ruled, the lines are about 8.7 millimeters apart. So as you can see, the Kokyo Campus a star star paper is its own kind of ruling. It doesn't really have a name, but it's smaller than both the college and wide ruled, but I think it's fine. I mean, I used to use college ruled notebooks, so I think that's why it wasn't a huge difference for me. But if you're used to wide ruled, now you know. The space at the top for your headers in the Kokyo Campus RSR paper is smaller than both college and wide rule, but I personally think that you still have enough room to write any title that you need to. And there's also a slight like subheader on all of the Kokyo Campus Sarasa papers. So it's like bigger than all the other lines, like there's more spacing between that first line and the next line, but it's smaller than the actual header. So it's like you have room to write your title and then a subtitle or your header and then a sub header if that makes sense. Additionally, since the notebook binders are reusable, you can open, close, insert, and take out paper. I frequently get asked questions about where I keep my old notes, and to finally be able to answer that for you guys, I got accordion file folders, and that is where I'm keeping all of my old notes. So I originally was planning on just getting regular two, like two section folders, you know, the ones that you'd use for a class, but then I had old notes from five classes last year, so I knew I'd have to buy multiple of those folders, and that would get expensive really quickly having to buy a folder for every single old class that I have so I decided instead to invest in an accordion file folder which is a lot bigger than your normal file it can hold a lot more paper than your regular folder and I can also fit multiple classes in one accordion file folder because they're separate so for instance in one of the accordion file folders that I got I believe there's space for five like little sections in there so that was enough to fit all of my old notes from last year so all I do is I insert the paper from one notebook into its designated space into the quarter 
and file folder and that way if i ever need to access the notes for some reason they're here in my trusty little home library and i can have access to them at all times and then the papers are also kept you know away in storage and stored neatly and a couple of people asked about the thickness of the paper which i didn't know off the top of my head when i was responding to comments but after doing my own research the jet pens website says that the paper is about 75 gsm thick which if you're unfamiliar with the gsm system gsm basically means gram per square meters so the more grams that you have per square meters the heavier and the thicker the paper is so for your average printer paper can come between your average printer paper can come between anywhere from 60 to 120 gsm and so this paper falls pretty in the middle between that 16 and 120 i'm at about 75 but i personally think that this paper feels a whole lot thicker than like any other type of notebook paper that you will ever feel i know i've talked about the paper before but since we're back on the paper talking about weight and thickness of it it's only 75 gsm which is not that much higher than your average printer paper which is 70 gsm according to google but it just feels like the material is feels a lot more smoother and thicker and a lot more luxurious than just your average printer paper so don't let like the measurement online fool you because trust me when i say that this paper is the smoothest paper you will ever feel in your entire life it is the smoothest paper you will ever feel in your entire life. i also someone once asked if you could fit regular size like paper or notebook paper or printer paper into the notebooks and to answer that question no unfortunately you cannot fit regular size paper or regular size printer or notebook paper into the notebooks unless you have a 26 hole punch lying around because that is how many holes are in these notebook papers and in the notebooks um 26 so yeah it is not possible to fit regular sized three hole punch paper or three hole punch printer paper into the notebooks so as you can see these notebooks are extremely nice unique and practical i would not recommend to you guys i would not recommend you guys these notebooks unless they were and i would not recommend these notebooks to you guys unless they were i hope this video answers all of your questions but if it doesn't feel free to leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to answer it in a timely manner i respond to every single comment and yeah i will see you guys in next week's video also thank you guys so much for 2600 subscribers it is absolutely crazy insane mind-blowing that we have come this far i'm super excited to make more videos i know i've been gone for kind of a bit but i'm coming back i just had to get back into my school groove um you know get back into doing work actually every single day um studying and creating a routine for myself before i could actually um deliver you guys the content that you guys deserve so yeah bye guys oh,